Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Kenyan American Home. Thank you so much for my subscribers, my notification gang people, man, for always coming back and the love that you show me. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you for the love and the support. Yeah, and uh, if you're new here and you haven't done it already, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So today, we're going to talk about Africans living in the diaspora. You know, why are so many Africans having to do multiple jobs in the US and you know and in Europe and pretty much everywhere but I'm mostly let me focus on the US because this happens a lot in the US where a lot of people a lot of immigrants African immigrants they have to have two or more jobs and it's like it's become a norm and so you find people working 16 hours a day 16 hours a day man that's like child labor man that's like what well, yeah that is not right but you find a lot of people have to work those so many hours double shifts for them to break even not even for them to live so comfortable lives it's for them to break even and at the end of the day they don't, they don't even have savings why i mean there's a there's a myriad there's a variety of factors why People are working multiple jobs and you know it could be it could be budget you know people have people don't have that simple you know simple budget a simple budget to to reason that I make this much money I should spend this much money a lot of people don't have that aspect of okay so this is how much that comes in this is how much goes out when I spend so that that could be a factor so that some people don't budget some people just make money and then they go spend more than they do. And if you do that, you always end up in a negative situation. That's why you'll always have credit card debts and all those debts. And that's why you'll keep working double and it's like you're making money, but then it's like there's a thief in your pocket. You're your own thief. Yeah? So there, it, could be, it could be so many things. You know, sometimes it's like, you know, you, you get really low paying jobs and, and you have to work twice as much to be able to break even, make your ends meet. But there's also something that I really want to focus and double down on today is what we call the black tax. If you don't know what that is, is it's <laughs> is the money that we have to send back home to our families and our relatives. And, you know, most, most Africans who are living in the U.S., you have people waiting for you back home that have really this, they have really high expectations. That you landed in America, you're supposed to start waking up in the morning and going and harvesting all those dollars that grow on trees. That's really the expectation is they expect you to land in the U.S., the land of milk and honey, and to just start flowing with dollars. And this is, this, is, this is one of the biggest problems. And this is one of the biggest reasons why some people are having to work multiple jobs. Not that they cannot work one job and be able to support their needs, but because a lot of people, a lot of people, and especially the newer people, or if you've isolated yourself, you haven't, you know, taken the time to talk to other people and get knowledgeable about this field. Especially the people who are just starting off. This is something that is, it's, it, it could be detrimental to your life in the U.S. This is something that really affects the life of so many people. Life of so many immigrants. And... It's so because you find you come to the US and then the people back home start giving you a list. They start giving you a shopping list, to-do list of things they want done. And then, you know, because we we want to really, you know, we want to we want to make everybody happy. We you know, we want to go to the extent of burning ourselves so that we make other people feel warm. And so you start taking on those requests 
and they start with your direct immediate family and then they go on to to your cousins your third cousins your fourth cousins people who call themselves family based on an encounter and they start giving you their needs this is what i want i want you to pay school fees for my daughter i want you to do this i have a big medical bill that i need you to cover i need you to do this oh i'm they you know the landlord closed my house i need you to pay my rent i need you to pay for my food we're dying of hunger you become the red cross and this is why I come to educate you because I at least have an experience and I've lived here long enough to see people ruin their lives because of how much they put on their shoulders. If nobody has told you this, I'm telling you now. If you're new here, if you're starting life here in the U.S., if you're starting life, you need to sit down and have a plan for your life. You need to sit down and have boundaries for you. You need to start realize that, realizing that you are by yourself in a foreign country. And if anything happens to you and you do not have the means to be able to support or take care of yourself, You'll end up in trouble. So you need to start setting boundaries. Reasonable boundaries. You need to sit down and see how much you make. And how much you can actually be able to give. Be able to help other people. Because if you don't, that, you, if you don't do that, you'll end up in trouble. My friend, let me tell you, if you lose your job and you don't have any savings, you won't call people back home for them to help you. They'll, I've, I mean, in my life here, I've never seen money come the other way. I see money going this way back home, but I don't see it coming back. You need to sit down and put your priorities right. Who is important in your life? You know, first look at your immediate family. Especially if you grew up in trouble, it's mostly, you know, and you've grown up in trouble. Like I, I can tell you, like for me, it was my mom. My mom, I grew up in poverty and my mom was there for me. My mom is the only person that I know. You know, she was there through thick and thin. And I'll try as much as possible to make sure that she's at least living comfortably. But then you have your immediate family. But you also need to set boundaries. You need to sit down and do a budget and say, this is how much, this is how much cushion I have to be able to send money back home. Because with the money I make and the bills I pay, I'm not gonna have to slave myself working two jobs so that I I can send money back home to people who you you might not know. These people sometimes live luxury like you know luxurious lives funded by you at the back of you not having to sleep you're funding people's fun lives people are chopping money people are chopping money back home and you're here you can't even it's like you come home you close your eyes before you know it it's morning or whatever time for time to clock in for your next shift you need to set boundaries and you also need to develop what is called a thick skin, my friend. You need to develop a thick skin. You need to stop being nice. You need to put bound have boundaries. Learn to say no. I am not able to do that. I am not in a position to help you now. You learn to say no because you take care of yourself first. If you don't take care of yourself, ultimately, they're, they're the ones who will end up losing. Ultimately. But I realize a lot of times, we don't want to tell our families back home the truth. Please have an honest conversation with your families back home. Let them know how life is. 
let them know that it's difficult they might not understand what you're saying because then you tell them life is hard the next minute they're asking you for money they don't get it i understand they don't get it but i think you need to have honest conversation and tell them your situation you need to draw boundaries and say i'm not able to do this at this time please respect my boundaries I want to help, but I'm not going to help at the detriment of my health. Because it's not healthy to keep working 16 hours a day. That is not healthy for anybody. And so, please, 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 have honest conversations with your family. Tell them you're not able to support all their problems. You cannot take on the burden of everyone in the community to help them. Even the Red Cross doesn't help everybody. You got to know your limits, draw your boundaries. And when you do that, then you're able to live a healthy life and a happy life. The unfortunate thing is, it doesn't matter how many times you help people back home. The minute you don't help them, <laughs> they treat you as if you've never sent anything to them. So you got to take care of yourself. And you need to set your boundaries. You need to put limits on what you can do. Have honest conversations with your family. Tell them the kind of job that I do doesn't... It doesn't give me the financial strength to be able to accomplish what you want me to accomplish. I cannot be able... No, I cannot be able to take each and every one of your kids to college. Because I have bills to pay. And I'm going to prioritize the things that I'm able to do right now. Don't start building houses and mansions back home. Don't give people the authority to control your money. They'll start telling you the best ways that you can invest your money. Or oh, build these big houses while you're struggling here. You need to listen because if anything happens to you while you're in the U.S., the only people and things and that can help you are the people here in the US. So you need to make wise decisions about your money. And don't work, don't work double shifts to be able to support people back home, you know, more than you're able to. Just live within your means. I say everything comes at its own time. Because the time will come. When you've settled in the U.S. and life becomes much better and you're able to help much more than you can just when you just arrived. But take your time. Learn your new place. Learn how things work. You know, go to school, get more education. Or go get, you know, go, go, go train to, to do, to do, you know, to do plumbing and electrical work and all those other other jobs that pay too it's not just the white collar jobs blue collar jobs take the time to get training you know apprentice work with somebody learn a skill but set yourself to succeed by laying good foundation if you don't lay good foundations in the beginning of your life in the u.s you will struggle you need to lay good foundations first and then once you're able to do that a time will come when you can help a little bit more. But in the beginning, you got to take care of yourself, take care of your health. And look, think long term. Don't just think short term. Don't just think about making money so quickly in the beginning that you don't plan for the future. You can start little, but end up big because you have plans and you have goals in mind. But boundaries are very important. You need to have boundaries. Otherwise, your life's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. And you keep getting phone call after phone call. You can't help everybody. You can't help everybody. Even I can tell you when I was poor, nobody helped me. Not not everybody helped me. Some people did. Not everybody. Even Jesus said, The poor you will always have among us. So, do your part. Prioritize 
boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Hopefully this was helpful to somebody out there. Yeah. Thank you so much for, you know, thank you for tuning in and uh, thank you for your support and watching my video. And uh, until next time, well, I hope you have yourself a good rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you.